upper end of the valley, on the outskirts of the vast Bereda estate, now controlled illegally by Ivan McCarty. Just midnight, Chuck Ramsey rescued a heart pressed from his pursuers, who, after he was revived, whispered that his name is Juan Pareda. Our scene today is again with Pareda, shortly after he regained consciousness. Chuck is speaking. You are Juan Pareda? I am Juan Pareda. Juan Pareda? I see it, Chuck. I see the whole thing now. You are Major Barry Steele? Red, he must know Major Steele. No, he doesn't, Chuck, or he wouldn't ask. You, uh, you were expecting Major Steele? No, Senator. I did not hope for such good luck. But you knew his name. I do not understand. Well, do you know of him? Please, Senor. Major Steele, he was a good friend of my wife, Senora Pereira. That's what Major Steele told us. But, uh, Senor Pereira, why did you mention Major Steele's name? My daughter, Dolores, she wanted to write letters to Major Steele. But then, she could not see her anymore. Well, what happened to her? I do not know, Senor. I'm very much afraid I will never see her again. Gosh, Red, that's terrible. Uh, we've got to get his story, Chuck, but I'm afraid he's too weak to tell us. What is that, Senor? Oh, uh, listen, Senor Pareda. My friend and I wish to help you. That is good, Senor. I need that very much. I'm afraid he's going to faint, Red. He doesn't look very well. I feel very sick. My lips. I want to go dry. I need my water. Yes, uh, quick, Chuck. Uh, give us some more water. Tip your helmet up there so we can drink, Red. There you are, Senor. Oh, I do not. <laughs> That helps him a lot. You better have uh, some more water, senor. Please, maybe too big for There you are. Uh, is that enough? That's his plan. Oh, wait, sir. Don't do that water. Wait, sir. Uh, bring the handkerchief out and wipe his face. Okay, man, there you are. Uh, okay, Chuck. You can go the rest of the way now. Right. Ah, uh, senor. Now I feel back. Gee, coming along swell. Yes, you bet. Uh, do you feel like sitting up? Yes, senor. Let's move him back a little so he can rest against the trunk of the tree. All right, that's the ticket. Here, uh, get on this other side. Okay, I'm ready. Easy now. Uh, there now. Sir, thank you so much. I feel much better now. Do you feel like talking, senor? Si, yes, senor. I will be myself very soon. I, uh, I couldn't help seeing your back, senor. You have been wounded. You see my back? Then you can guess. They look like the marks of a whip. Si, yes, senor. I have been with, just like you would whip some beast. But they have not broken me. They can never break the spirit of a Pereira. I can see that, senor. But uh, tell me why you were beaten. It is a long story, senor. I do not know. Oh, now, wait. We are friends of Major Barry Steele. We're here to help you. You mustn't be afraid to tell us your troubles. Tell me, what do you call yourself? What are your names? My young friend here is Chuck Ramsey. As for me, my name doesn't matter. But, senor, how shall I address you? I am known as Captain Midnight. Captain Midnight? Captain Midnight? What a strange name. It is not one of my own choosing, senor. The name does not matter. The man, he counts very much. You you will trust us, then? Si, I will trust you. But I must warn you, we are all in danger. Enemies surround us. Yes, we found that out all right. And let me remind you, Chuck, keep your eyes open. I'm watching all around us, Red. Good. Your young friend, Chuck, he is very much on the alert. Yes, senor. Chuck has keen eyes. Do you see any enemies which may approach? Good. Then I will begin. My name is Pereira, senor. And my family have lived in this valley for many years. Close to my hacienda, there is a small chapel in a graveyard. And on one stone, which is crumbling with age, you will see the numerals 1651. Are you you're 1651. Si. In that grave lie the bones of Francisco Pereira, who was a mighty general in the Imperial Army of Spain. This land was given him by the king. An original Spanish land grantor. That is right, senor. The Pereira family owned this valley and many others nearby. It's a beautiful place, senor. Nowhere in the world is there such a valley, senor. I thought it is my family before it loved it. Well, uh, when did the present trouble start? A month ago, senor. But I wish to explain something. Yes. I was a young man. I studied in the university in Spain. And there, studying music, was a beautiful American girl. I married her senior and brought her back with me to the valley. She was a very good friend of Major Barry Steele and his wife. Is that not so? That is true, senior. I did not have the pleasure of meeting Major Steele and his senior. To be truthful, I did not like to leave this valley. But my wife, she had to be glad that our daughter should study in her mother's country. So I sent her to school and watched her. And there she became well acquainted with Major and Mrs. Steele. She, she, she visited at her home many times. Senora Parader, she's not living now? No. Two years ago, she died. So I'm 